All right. What up? It's Letty V with 102.7 Kiss FM and our next up artist, Netta. Hi. Hi. How are you? You are awesome. You just performed Thank you. Rude Boy Thank from Rihanna. You. We were just talking about how we're both huge fans of Rihanna. Exactly. Is that why you picked that song? Exactly. I just, you know, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm a pop fan. I'm a big pop enthusiast, but I I love that pop that lasts pop yeah. that like songs that stays and she she totally does that she totally lifts you up and and brings you down when you when you yeah when 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 it's appropriate it's like it's she's amazing but i love it's it was still rihanna's song but you put such an amazing twist on it and <sighs> made it completely your own and so many unique sounds <laughs> when you cover songs it's like you have to where do you, you have to. How, where do the all these um, like the inspiration where does it all come from as far as like the uniqueness in your sound because you know you were making all these different sounds with your voice <laughs> and I was like whoa you know um, when I was like uh, when I was growing up I, I I'm an Israeli and I grew up in Nigeria when I was like living in Nigeria like there I, I was living in like a I was going to an international school and all the children was like from different ethnicities uh -huh. and like Africans and Asians and, and like everything. So so physical differences wasn't an issue. So I was a social leader and I was popular. And when I got to Israel, when I was like eight, I realized that I am the chubby, unibroad, foreign <laughs> girl. And I, I had to do something to survive. So I learned to imitate animals and I discovered that I can sing. So all these weird sounds and make, being a class clown, like the, it got me through this difficult years. And having this skill is uh, is is it, it got into my my music. It got this funniness, this you know this this funny approach to 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 music, uh, and, and I and I love it. It just gives it a whole different life, <laughs> like an added level of just like fullness and so many layers you know uh, it, it's so different and i love that it's it's seriously it's how i hear it's how i i, I listen to stuff and i it, it's it's how it comes out of me is that when i hear it i when i hear the 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 melodies and i hear like the the meat and the yeah. chords if it's if it's amazing so i can do i can take it to 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 myself for people like me who aren't musicians or <laughs> singers and don't have that like talent, it's always interesting to see how different artists uh, just take in different uh, moments or experiences and then how you all have your own way of converting that into something magical. And it's just so cool to see for you to explain that and to see where that all comes from <laughs> and your process and your life and all that. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> it, it's thank really you. cool. It's really cool. So you are the winner of Eurovision's song contest. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what something like that is like going through. It's like it's the year I call it the year of the pancake. Like everything like flipped, uh, <laughs> and uh, my, I I went from a struggling musician and f to to uh, yeah. to a world known uh, singer, and uh, that's uh, that's insane. That hap that all happened in six months, and I was like. I was a struggling musician in, in Tel Aviv, living with roommates. Still live, living with roommates, actually. <laughs> Didn't give that up. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I'm having, I have my looper, my, my looping device, which I wasn't allowed to bring today because it's an acoustic uh, themed <laughs> show. Uh, but uh, but I use that. And. I can I decided to do a reality show because I I, I, I wasn't making any living of what I do. Uh, I was too unique to be behind someone. Uh, I was uh, I didn't look good enough to be a wedding singer. I didn't like uh, I, I didn't fit in anywhere. So it was like it's it's or it's or going for the big one or nothing. Yeah. So I went for the big you one. I, cool I did a reality show and then I won the reality show and the prize of the reality show is is competing in an, another reality show. <laughs> a bigger one yeah. uh, actually and 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 I won and that happened as well. And uh, by me winning I I did something really really good for a lot of people not only in Israel. Mm -hmm. Like like Israel won. I I it's a lot of uh, um, children that are feeling that uh that they are that they don't belong yeah uh, and and that is everything to me is that important to you now that you do have a, a platform 
Is it important to you to use that platform, just like you're saying, to maybe reach out to kids who might feel a certain way or who maybe think their dreams are too big, or, you know, too big for them to even see in person ever? Is that important to you to now that you're there to be That's, able to... That's... That, you know, I'm just... I'm busy being the honest truest version of myself yeah. and I'm always fighting for that like when the next song comes out it's like it has to be like the greatest I have to be the greatest for all those children that are sitting I, I, I want to be the person I needed when I was yeah. nine you know when I when I was nine years old like when I saw when I heard music when I saw billboard signs when I saw magazines there was only one variety of mm -hmm. of w one color of beauty one color of uh, one size mm -hmm. w one one sound of music like the, all, all of it's been the same for so many for so many years now and people are so afraid to break these boxes and 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 I feel that's time we're busy being so unhappy mm -hmm. with who we are and we're trying to change that all of our lives why why are we running away from our destiny why do mm -hmm. if we like to paint or we like to I don't know we drive cars why why do we have to like find a safe job it's like yeah. it's 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 a lot of that it's a lot of finding your your true voice not imitating nothing I always question myself when I make music like why do I do that mm -hmm. how where does it come from this is why it was easy for me to tell you how how the uniqueness in my voice how how where did it came from because I forced myself to find where where the where does this come from and and where did I take it from the whom did I take mm -hmm. it from uh, and your um first single toy right yeah. your debut single um I know that that also had a message of like female empowerment exactly. and was also a little um, influenced by the whole Me Too movement. Exactly. And there's a lot of people standing up for themselves right now, you know? And so amazing. I want to hear a little bit about, about that and, and the message I in think that song. You, I think it's an amazing time when women are finding their voices and and they're stepping out uh, into the light. And that is that is so important to me. I've, you know, I've obviously all of us have, a, have experienced like yeah. uh, sexism in, in, in some way. Uh, some worse than the other, but but all of us, uh, one out of one, mm -hmm. and but I think toy isn't just about that. I think it's about bullying in general. Uh, I s uh, we are I, s uh, I think it's it's for a wider audience. It's not just mm -hmm. for women. It's for everybody who's been uh, who's been stepped down and struck down by a bigger force by I don't know if it's kids in school or your boss or or, or government mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's like really it's come from everywhere it's, everywhere. it's from every direction <laughs> and I I believe that toy comes and says hey yeah. stop and it's always great to get more songs like that and more messages coming through I think for, yeah. especially for younger people exactly have such a difficult time but it's always great to see a strong artist like yourself to relay that message and to be an influence you know I, I guess in a competition like that and in, in, in a stage like that uh, you better use it to do something really really good for a lot of people and when people feel it's true and it's genuine so they vote mm-hmm they vote with their hearts and I, I we were trying to reach as many as many hearts as we can I love that. oh good for you I love thank it you, I thank love you, it thank touching you. people with music and with your message now what's coming up what do you got on the way what does what do the next few months look like ah uh, wow um I'm releasing my new single in December awesome. and uh, we're very excited about it uh, I can't tell you nothing <laughs> I can obviously I can't tell you nothing. Okay, so where do people uh, keep up with you? So uh, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I I am everywhere <laughs> uh, in that in in social media, and uh, I'm touring right now Europe, uh, and it's been amazing to meet all all my fans and all yeah. and all the people that I've touched, and uh, I'm I'm receiving so much love and I am overwhelmed by it. It's gonna be so surreal, right? It happened so fast, and now every, like. Seriously, in 2017, I made <laughs> $3,000 the whole year. Wow. 
the whole year. And now look. Yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> well, uh, really quick, give everybody your handle for Twitter, Instagram, so they can find you. So you can find Netta Barzi. Uh, with a double T in Instagram and you can search Neta Barzilai in Facebook and in Twitter it's Neta Barzilai as well. Awesome. Thank right? you so much, Neta. Thank you.